some of you are not able to you know to do some anything in the computer or in your phone so that's the reason why i am recording the lesson 13 now we started lesson 13 practice and what i will do first real quick is to show you the chapter so you can see real quick e-commerce class Right. Uh, I am recording lately the cl car classes here, so you, it's easy for you to see uh, the content that we record. If you didn't notice, I, I'm not showing my screen. I'm not showing, I know. Now I realize I'm not showing um, your entire screen. Okay, now, here we go. So... I'm going to turn it up. If you have comments, you want to say something, interrupt, whatever you want to say, say it or put it on the chat. I'm going to do my best to keep looking at the chat. If not, you can send me a text message. I'm looking also my phone. If you don't do this activity with me together, it doesn't mean that you will have problem or anything like that. It's just to show you the tool, right? Uh, real quick okay let's go to the lesson if you click in the lesson number 13 lesson i click on lesson somebody want to say something no it's coming admit so here let's go back lesson 13 okay one three uh, reviews and practice read article what it says that is i just put an article for you to update the content that we have in this class and then i also put how to create a store in shopify link and you will see this here in at the end so the same thing that we will do right now i put it in writing here in a catalog in a book and then practice online store 13 what is that just copy and paste your store once we are done, I'm gonna, I'm, that's why I'm telling you, don't worry if you don't send it now, just send it until uh, the semester is over, April 21st. And you can put your link. If the link doesn't work for you, you can just put me a picture of your store. You can take a picture with your cell phone. Please make sure you did it. So I would like to see at least a name, something that I can see. Okay, uh, uh, Alex did it, Bielka did it, any, any of you. So I want to see at least your name in the store. You can call the store with your name. Okay, let's do this together. Admit. If you have possibility to do it with me, I beg to all of you to do it. Okay. So <clears throat> um, here, what else we have? I also uh, put you this article in the top. This article uh, I wanted to share with you because it's a content that is, um, uh, let's say, recent, right? It's recent and we can see practice around the world um, about e-commerce. And here at this time, we have practice from India in this article that I'm showing in the screen, e-commerce e and consumer protection in India, the emerging trend. So that was, I, I wanted to share in this week. It was wrote by Nilam Chawla and Basanta Kumar. So you have uh, the information here in this article. And it's speaking about uh, different agencies and organizations in India, government, governmental, that they take care of the safety or let's say se uh, security of the customers in e-commerce uh, area. So if you want to develop a shop in India, you have you must have some uh, regulations in mind like every but uh, like all the countries right have some regulations in mind and india is not an exception right so you can see if you read this article can help you on this uh, one of the things i find interesting for you to have in mind 
it's how is growing the e-commerce in India. And some stores that are more successful than others, you will see the names here of the stores. Also, you can see in this article uh, how it's uh, the evolution on the online shopping and the location. And if you see here in the uh, reports in the locations, somebody want to say something? No, it's coming. Okay, so if you look the article, um, if you look the article, you will figure it out how it's growing the e-commerce there, as I told you. Uh, first of all, uh, before I keep talking, it's important to tell you, you don't have to do any assignment with this. So what I'm telling you is not part of any activity, is not part of any test, is not part of any discussion. It's just my comment real quick with you to share this. And I like to, uh, you know, give the importance to this part because for many reasons, because you are multicultural students from all over the place, and a lot of you from India. Second thing is that I want that you learn how the things are around the world, not only here. I don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. So I want to give you the best possible so you can have foundation to do what you have to do. It doesn't matter where. The, th the third thing is to put in your minds that any country have the truth. So, for example, uh, let's say United States, that we are here. It doesn't mean that because we are here, everything is being doing right, and this is the only way to do it. Your background, your experience, how you do the things overseas, how, what you see, how the things are doing outside this scenario will provide you enough tools to do better work than a lot of people. So looking at, at this country in particular, it doesn't matter the country, right? You can get many, many, many good results uh, from your different countries and perspectives. That's the reason why I'm putting a lot of uh, emphasis or uh, pointing this country and I am so happy because I know that my some of you let's say a huge group are uh, or or from India or close or or, or nation close so I want to uh, put in your mind the proud of the things that you have in your hometowns that you can use it and they are valuable it doesn't matter the part of the world that we are of course we always have to follow procedures guidelines laws governmental disposition we also have to find the culture uh, find out how is the culture and, and develop our business uh, in consonance with the customer but it doesn't mean that you don't gonna see how the things are in the world and learn and be proud of what you have in your mind in your culture and in yourself as individual so let's keep going if you look at the screen uh, you will see the company location these statistics are from october 2020 so it's the online shopping top consumer location and company location and you will see that these companies are located in usa first china second united kingdom third we have france and we have india hong kong spain canada poland and turkey so those are the locations uh, based in the statistic in 2020 Okay, and then if you keep looking the article, it will uh, um, tell you about the e-commerce growth, etc. Especially, remember the location in India. So, another observation that I have for you regarding this article is how the trust, trusting in the company that you do, that the Indian customers uh, are attracted to the trust that they see in the company so you as entrepreneurs uh, commercial leaders or any other um, position or commitment that you have you need to make sure if you are serving the customers from india they uh, how valuable is to trust in their company that they are dealing 
you can say, Bianca, but this is happening maybe here in the United States. Yes, we can say that, but remember that this study was made in this location and they took 200 uh, e-commerce uh, platforms, e-commerce uh, e business to detect the characteristics of the consumer. So many things interesting that we can use for our projects uh, in, in as e-commerce professional or administrators uh, in the regular jobs or uh, projects, your own business, etc. So if you keep going, that's uh, all the what you will find. And here you will find uh, the growing uh, in being millions and US billion, okay? Choppers by million and um, uh, the currency is counting billion. Uh, taking in consideration until 2020 July. Okay, so it's just a short view, so you can see, uh, have some information. How they do this uh, uh, kind of research? So remember, this kind of research are uh, usually do by teams. And actually, I did that in other courses, giving you tools, how you can make research in your own. Uh, this is another <laughs> a kind of uh, class that we can take some minutes on that because the goal is to give you all the tools that you need to develop your own projects and everything. But now at the end, is that this is what I'm keep looking. You will see they are explaining, explaining the methodology, what they use to uh, understand and uh, research these customers located in India. And also, I find very interesting some uh, compa uh, some organization that handle this part. Somebody want to come to the meeting. If you have comments, people, or something that you learn, or just something that you want to share, it doesn't matter what, uh, <clears throat> regarding your experience as a customer, as administrator, as professional, as a student, please uh, tell me because you make the class better, faster and entertaining and more powerful as soon as you say what you think, your observation or anything like that, <clears throat> that I call contribution. And I will taking notes of these parts too. So here you will see more. Oh, this is very uh, useful that I would like that you see. It's tiny right now because you can put, uh, put it bigger and see it by yourself too. Okay, if you want to open with me in the lesson 13. So this is this what you see here is the process that uh, is uh, have to be complete in case that some business are rejected uh, by Indian authorities. So this is uh, the Supreme Court, APN, National Commission, State Commission, District Forum, all of this uh, process, okay? Something I found very interesting. If you have, again, something, uh, observations or opinions, let us know, please, so we can learn from you. <clears throat> Okay, maybe you have some uh, observation about the e-commerce in your hometown for my ones that are uh, from India or countries close to India. So some things that the customer uh, trusts. Remember I was telling you before, for Indian customers in e-commerce, trust, trust is fundamental. For, uh, based in this study, okay? So see here the results from this research. Security, privacy, customer service, website information. This is very important that you have this in your mind in case that you want to develop any kind of online projects in your life. Some of you are doing right now or are thinking on this. So very important to think security, privacy, warranty, customer service, website information. Uh, even if you have your own platform that we're gonna see right now, the Shopify platform, this is the one I am gonna uh, put in your mind, but you can, there are more than that. Shopify is very popular here. If you uh, know another one, you can write it on the chat also or say it but see all of these characteristics are important for the customers and you can think around the world in all of these variables not only in one country right 
but again so that's the results of everything and uh, that's what i wanted to uh, share with you today okay i don't know if you find this interesting something that you already know or maybe something new for you tell me your opinion i would love to read in the chat or hear your voices what you think about this article if it's something that you find interesting but uh, yeah, and in order to finish my comments with these articles, I found so important how it's regulated the e-commerce. They have many organizations in the government that they are looking this um, a business area. So something that catch my attention here. If there is something that catch your attention, also tell me in this part. So I'm gonna open a Shopify a store with all of you here you and me we're gonna open a shopify store from scratch i have a shopify member i pay for shopify but i won't do that with you i will create like a, a student like all of you okay so uh, that's the way i want to see uh, how it's gonna work for you and we can you know learn from each other let's say this way so i'm gonna go to shopify.com i'm gonna be a little bit uh, uh sorry so some of you i'm gonna be a little bit like uh, uh how i can say this in, in pro, improvising like from zero so step number one you and me please let's visit shopify.com um again if you don't do it now it doesn't mean that you have will have zero or you won't have a problem no but the assignment for this week is to create your shopify a shop a store so let's do it together shopify.com step number one everybody's with me with shopify.com just go with me. It doesn't gonna hurt you. It's not gonna charge you anything. It's not gonna make anything to you. Just let's do it together. Okay. Step one, Shopify.com. Step two, everybody seeing my screen? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. So First of all, you saw I click on Shopify.com and the second step is let's get started. Which of these best describes you? I'm going to say that I'm just starting. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. Okay, what, what do you like to sell in Shopify.com? I would like to have an online store. Okay, so I'm going to click on the first option and I'm going to click on next. Okay, what do you want plan to sell first? The system is asking me. So I'm gonna say products I buy or make myself. Mm, I'm gonna choose this one. You can choose what you think, mm, what you think it's good for you. Don't choose drop shipping for today. What is drop shipping? Remember, if if we do, uh, for example, e-commerce for Amazon. Uh, we can do drop shipping. That means I don't have inventory. I don't have products. I don't have anything. I just recommend products from Amazon and they sell it and they do everything by themselves. You can choose that, but I don't know how it works with Shopify right now. So I prefer, um, let's, if you want to try drop shipping, try it because we're going to figure it out. But to make it in nice for practice i will choose products i buy or make myself so i have my inventory i make uh, whatever i make but for this time let's say i make bracelets which is true <laughs> i make bracelets right so i'm gonna uh, that, do that some of you actually have merchandise in your houses because you tell me your stories and I know about some of you. So if you have merchandise that you bring from another country, click on that because if you have it at home, why to have it there? Let's sell that. If some of you uh, make something like me, I make stuff. Okay, we can do that. Products I buy and make myself. You can tell me, Dielka, but I don't have enough thing. It doesn't matter if you have one thing, one thing, 
it's fine. I have a store with one product right now, <laughs> something I'm working with, but I have a store with one product. I might have another with more products. It depends uh, your um, situation. And I always will tell you, start with what you have. If you have nothing, start with nothing. If you have a piece of newspaper, newspaper from three months ago, do, do it with this. So second step, I'm going to click in the first option, which is products I buy or make myself. Everybody's with me on this or you think I'm going too fast? Uh, tell me. It's okay. Everybody's getting what I'm saying. Yes, no. Tell me the truth because for me, this is one of the most important moments in this class uh, to show you how to create your store. Okay, so everybody's with me. Yes, no. Tell me the truth. It's okay. Yes, no, more or less, maybe. I want to hear your voices, people. Yes, we're good. Yes, we are good. You true, you're sure. Okay, let's keep going with this next. Thank you for that. Next, I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to put my store name. And um, you know what? I'm going to, um, my bird. Uh, some of you will know why I <laughs> like to say that <laughs> when I tell you you're free like a bird, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to call my store My Birds. So uh, My Birds, that's the name of my store. Uh, let's click on next. Why is giving me, this is a temporary URL to start setting up your Shopify store. You can put the name of the store that you want, okay? Think if the project that you want to do, you want to launch in the future, put the name of your product, put the name of your company, the, even if it's not registered, it doesn't matter. Even if it's not legally uh, registered in Georgia or in any state, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's click on next. Remember, you won't be charged for that. You don't gonna have any problem. It's just a practice. So we will use your location to set up your default shipping rates, recommend apps and more. I'm gonna leave it in United States, next. And for this one, I'm gonna continue with email. I'm gonna do it with email. So I'm gonna put my email. I hope it works. Remember, I'm with you starting from zero. I'm not using my email that I used to do for this because I don't want to use it. I want to do it from scratch. Okay. So that's why I am doing this way. You set up a password, whatever password you want. Okay. Uh, you can set a password with you. It, like a word, but try to put some uh, numbers or something like that, or special character. You have experience on that, so let's create Shopify IP. Boom. I create my Shopify. It's building my store. I want to click on never. Uh, it's confirming. It's you, I'm receiving an email right now to my cell phone that say confirm your email address. So I'm going to click on this here in my cell phone or I can do it in my computer and I'm going to click confirm email and boom, it's done. Okay. I confirm my email and I say, yes, this is my email. Boom. And now we are unable to verify that your request originated for Shopify. Why? Hmm. It's say unable. I don't know why. But anyway, I have my store. Actually, it's saying your trial just started. If your trial didn't work because you had a trial already, if you had a trial in the past, that means that you don't going to get it. So use a new email from one of your anybody that you trust or any other people or create an email. That's why I'm recording in case that something happened right but i what i did for as example i put an email of alejascraft at gmail.com which is an email that i don't have any shopify account that's what i did it like that so you can see how it works from zero okay so at your first product do this with me, people, if it's possible, because it's an assignment. This is an assignment, the store, okay? Add a product. Now I'm going to create my product. What about if I have 
my product in the house, as I tell you. Okay, uh, I take a picture of my product and I, with my cell phone, and I post my picture. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of my product. Bielka, how I can do it? Do it with what you have, okay? Every time it's all, of course, if you don't have good cameras, this is my recommend. Remember, I'm thinking like this is a real life, okay? You can take a picture right now of anything. Actually, you can use a picture from the internet. It's not a big deal for purpose of this. Remember, I click on add a product. You wanna see how I did it? I just open my store and I click add my product. Okay, everybody's with me. Yes or no? Yes. More or less. Yes. Thank you. I love the yeses. Yes. Yes, I love my yeses. Thank you so much. So I click on add a product again. So, so you can see I'm doing here by myself alone. I'm going to take a picture of something I have in my hand. <laughs> Actually, this is a bracelet that we made in the workshop, right, with the children. So what I have, I took a picture. Please don't take pictures like that when you are doing your real job. Uh, try to use a white, uh, white, um, white, uh, how I can say this, white uh, background, white background, if it's possible. It doesn't have to be white, but if the product is so colorful like this one, try to use something that can be uh, look uh, neat like a white background that's what i'm showing you this chair because this chair has white in the in the at the end so what i'm gonna do to show you better i'm gonna do it in the white background remember this is an example i just wanted to do it the real way possible okay so i did my picture with my white background the, the, the things, the accessories are one of the most difficult thing to take picture because I realized when I make my craft, they are usually big things. Let's say a cup is very easy. It's more easy to make a picture of a cup than two little earrings, for example. But you depend, depends what you want to purchase. Can somebody here, this is the picture I took for you <laughs> with the white background. Every time you're going to put your pictures, try to put some, no only one, three, maybe. And remember to uh, put all the angles of your product. Uh, for example, I have here allergy pills. I Sometimes I have allergy. So I take the front, I take the back, I take the sides from the top. Everything possible that you can take. If you have a white background, do it with your white background. For this assignment, of course, you don't want to have to do all of this. This is my recommendation for you. The picture is very important when we are doing our job. And also, if you are doing drop shipping, you want to use your picture from Amazon. If you are doing um, products from another company and they provide you the pictures, boom, you don't have to deal with that. Uh, but if you do like less little things like jewelry, some of you are interested in jewelry business. Of course, this is a plastic, it's an example, okay? If you are doing jewelry, uh, your providers of gold can provide you picture. If they don't do it, some providers don't do it. So you can, uh, and you can have the opportunity to have the merchandise, then we will need to remember the background white background or if you want to wear or somebody else you can use those pictures my recommendation have a picture with one person and also another picture with nobody so you can see the stores any other stores if you want to do jewelry look uh, look uh, uh, companies that do jewelry business for example J J jared jared j a R E D, they do this business. You can see them as a reference. My ones that are interested in fashion, 
so we can look fashion uh, uh, companies also think which is your customer is very important for example almas almas did a beautiful work with fashion and she took she has pictures of the attires that the, you can see them and completely for the purpose of this assignment of course you don't need to do anything of that one picture of anything you can look in google let's say you are interested in sell a any kind of thing so let me say uh, accessories for phone okay an example okay so i click on that and i have accessories for phone and i can for the purpose of this class i can uh, see this picture and click on the uh, left uh, left click and i can save image as and i'm gonna say my birds picture for example okay this is an example my birds picture uh, and i click on save so to show you okay and i'm gonna go here um, in my store the name is my birds and i'm gonna add accessories i'm gonna add my description be specific in your description when you have your store beautiful uh, accessories uh, also specify uh, if you are doing purely real gold of course you specify the the weight if you do uh, decoration items like i'm making my shop i also uh, weigh them it doesn't have to be so crazy specific is three ounces point three zero three for things like uh, decoration of course no because uh, you can give a customer an uh, approximate for example my articles usually are five four pounds so i put that they are usually seven inches low, large, large so i put that i measure them yes i do uh, for some articles you have to be more specific especially if they are a uh, i know i'm making wrong here uh, uh, especially if they are gold you need to put exactly the weight for sure you need to put the carats for sure if you do fashion some of you are interested in fashion you have to put the um, you know the material of the cloth etc remember this is a recommendation you don't have to do all of that this is for the exercise for the exercise i just want the link of your shop with one article put your name in somewhere so i can see you did it so beautiful accessories for my birth and this is a description you will put like very detailed more information specific specific information put what you think here is not necessary to to you know for this exercise again i repeat i repeat the same because um my experience with all of you okay so um here i correct this word and i'm gonna put my bird accessory to the to this product okay okay here uh, useful for your cell phone here remember that uh, mm, let me give you advice on the name the name is very important that you put something uh, useful for your customer okay um so try to put uh, like words that are um how i can say words that are specific that help you with your ceo what is ceo remember that we study in the class search engine optimization why because your customer can get these products uh, in the web as soon as you put uh, words that help you to be seen uh, this is something important to think okay so here um so that's why you will see all the time accessories, a phone, and they will put the same different words, different ways, different ways because the customer can put accessory, but another customer can put chain, another customer can call it different ways. That's the message I want to provide you. Okay, add files, media, add files. I'm gonna add my file. Remember the name of my picture was my birds. You remember what, what was the name I put to my picture? <laughs> my bed accessory, something like that. I forgot. 
somebody can remember, let me see if I see the picture. Uh, I must have my picture here in somewhere. If not, I take any other picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I, I, I save it in the, I save it in the desktop. And now I forgot the name I put. Okay, so people, uh, everybody's with me on this. Is understandable what we are explaining? Yes or no? Tell me. Save image as. Let me see if yes, I. Can. All good. All good. Thank you. You know why? Why is no safe? Because I didn't click on desktop. My birth accessories. So I'm gonna put it like that. My birth accessories. And now it's saved. I think it's saved. This is nice what I have here. You see the pictures. This is a good example that you can use for yourself in your stores. And this one is created by Chain, which is a successful e-commerce company. And you see they have an individual, a person using the article. And the picture you can tell is not nothing that is. Uh, of course, they have they have professionals, but you see, is something that we can do. That's the message I wanted to give you. Is something something that we can do in our homes with our phones. Won't be so perfect like chain those probably, but again, start with what you have. Look at the second picture. What a, a, a background which is. A, simple uh, you know doesn't conflict with the product it's gray color light color and see the light even they have shades here the word is not in they are fine okay so here again another picture as example of the product how it looks so i am telling all of you all of you that because those are guidelines that you can have your own business if you pay attention to how other people do what i can sell what kind of products i like to provide to the world uh, be observant and look what you can do and uh, and never give up of course you know that i'm fan of all of you let's keep going Let's keep going. So now add files. I'm gonna add my bears accessories picture, open. And now I have my picture for my shop. Actually, I took a picture with my cell phone that I can easily use in my shop. I remember something else, I'm doing this in the computer, but this is something very easy to do in your cell phone. Actually, I like to work in my cell phone when I'm doing my job things, but some cases, of course, I prefer the computer because um, some case, you will notice why I'm, I am saying this, because sometimes you say, oh, yes, I want my computer to do it. So um, here I'm going to add my price for my accessories. OK, so my my accessory, you know, I'm expensive lady, so it's going to be $50 <laughs> for the accessory. You don't have to complete this uh, this one. Um, think about how I can know in the real life how to charge. Look other people what they do but when you're starting your job you usually like to charge less to the customer don't do that don't do it because why because if you bought this product let's say you make this okay let's say you make it it's not nothing difficult to make let's say you make it right so if you made this product and um let's say um, you say, Bielka, this is so simple to do. I spend like three dollars in material plus three dollars. I'm gonna I can sell this in twelve dollars. It's uh, and it's so expensive. Okay, sell it in twenty five. Why? Because um, you have to think in your shipping. You have to think in the package. You have to think in the. You have to buy paper. You have to put a letter to the customer or or a card. All of these are expenses, expenses, expenses. Plus, you have to go to the USPSS, drive there, take this the envelope, put the product, put it nice, presentable to the client, and send it. All of these process, I don't, I cannot tell you. I mean, 
you need to charge sometimes more. Actually, let's see how much change charge. They change one dollar sixty cents. It's change, but yet how I can compete with change? They are selling this for one point sixty. It doesn't matter. Everything can be sell on the web. You will develop how you communicate the message to your customer. This is gonna be handmade, personalized product. You can add the name of your customer. Okay, don't think on chain, don't think on Amazon, don't think on huge company, don't think of the company that are in China because you won't sell. You will be disappointed, you will be sad, and you won't sell. And you can tell many stores doing this accessory. I swear there must be many stores selling this in $20. At least I am sure. I, I haven't looked, I haven't looked. I just took this with you from zero to show you, right? Because I wanted to show you, like, um, I don't know anything from scratch. Anyway, this is another motivation area that we don't wanna touch now. Just sell what you have to sell. If you are a maker, sell what you have to say. If you are a reseller and you are purchasing this in Alibaba and you want to sell, you can. Maybe your price won't be this, won't be less life of this. Awesome, good for you. So, but the way that you have to, to, to announce this to the customer, the ways you have to announce is you have to differentiate, differentiate yourself from chain. In this case, I'm gonna take chain because chain will pop it up in my in my in my you know in my computer. For example, accessories, cell phone. Now I'm gonna look with my favorites here and announce about them. Okay, so accessories. Okay, you know I write it wrong. It doesn't matter. So tada, we have what uh, they say. Let's say they, let's say the word they use. It called butterfly decor foam lanyard. So that's the name of this product. I'm gonna go to Alibaba again. I'm gonna show you something. It's because I wanna that you have an idea about how it works. Okay, Alibaba sells this. Alibaba sells something different, uh, something similar. So look at this, 1.2240. They sell you 10 pieces, okay? So if, if you go to Alibaba and you, find, and you purchase uh, less uh, plus 2,000, you're gonna get 180. But I don't have all of this money, okay? 10 pieces until 199 is about 2.40. And you're gonna tell me, yes, but it's less, it's more, uh, it's more than chain. When I receive this merchandise, I cannot sell it for 240 because I invest 240, yes, plus the shipping, of course. Let's say everything costs you three dollar, four dollar. Okay, now you have a four dollar product that you can sell in 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 Shopify for let's say twelve dollars. Mm, if it's four dollars, yeah, around 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 twenty dollars. Why? Because thinking the packaging and sending in uh, um, USPS. You can say, Bianca, this is not profitable. I don't think so. Actually, I like this business. I like the analysis we are doing here. And I think it's useful because if you purchase this accessory in 2.40 and you receive it in the US, plus then you send it to the customer directly and you also can, depending how you communicate, I said it again over and over because I won't stop, it, depending how you develop your job and what is the unique proposition, unique selling proposition that you are doing to your customer. You don't gonna sell it like this. You're gonna say you're gonna make different pictures. You will uh, communicate to your customer with a something a personalized service. Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way. And of course, you can obtain profit from this accessory buying like this, like I'm showing in the screen. It depends how you project it. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm not ready. So uh, cost per item, it doesn't matter. You know the cost per item because we saw Alibaba. Remember, it's an example. I'm going to put that this article is uh, 16 ounces. Uh, how I can know uh, 
uh, uh, weights a product in a in a scale in a scale you can do it but this product actually you can see it's gonna tell you in somewhere here and you can see how how is the weight if you keep reading this you're gonna figure it out if not measure you can measure one similar if you don't have it in your hand okay let's keep going remember this is for a practice i'm just showing you more stuff so you can use it for your own projects okay so here product category i'm gonna put accessory accessory did that works uh let me see yeah the, I'm, I'm writing this from probably a uh, phone you don't correct me nothing right mobile phone cases is not a phone cordless mobile phone accessories here we got so product type we say it was uh i forgot the name of this i think i write it here here we have phone lanyard i'm gonna delete this i copy and paste from each chain you chain you know what i did i copy and paste the name of the product from chain because if i don't know exactly the name of this i have to look in the web okay vendor mm, doesn't need to complete on all of this tax you can uh, actually put tax uh, any kind of tax phone for example accessory all of these kind of things remember for the exercise you don't have to do all of that but i want to exercise this okay so now you know what i have my product created let's say i have some different uh, sizes so i'm gonna add color i have wine in white okay i'm gonna add it people tell me what uh, you think if this is something that is useful something that you know i have been teaching this in some classes not now maybe couple semester ago but um tell me your opinion this is something useful no useful something interesting not interesting difficult no difficult tell me because like this is difficult to know what you have in your head uh, nothing i'm gonna be alone here all day okay good okay done i i had different options for color because i had colors i'm a maker so i'm gonna make it if not i buy it it doesn't matter okay so i'm gonna click on save everybody's with me until now yes no we put here. yes yes ma'am yes you love it love the yeses so look what we did for people we create a shop and we create a trial on shopify with an email a new email from scratch second we put the name of our shop third we add a product any product that you like it doesn't matter if it's accessory it doesn't matter if it's bottle water i don't care you put what you think phones uh, jewelry fashion you name it put what you want to do in the future put a, put a picture of a product that motivates you to open your own business okay so uh, i put my product i i put an accessory you know i'm a maker so i'm attracted to those kind of stuff uh, plus i looking in uh, i looking actually i look in alibaba so in case i'm not a maker i look a tool that can provide me the product done ready i don't have to make anything so I look at that. I actually make a little research study about the prices. I notice how cheap is in Alibaba. That's okay. How cheap is in chain? That's okay. But the way I will sell my product, it's completely different. So do, I don't want that you put this uh, like blocking your mind because that happened to me too as maker, as uh, any kind of business uh, that uh, blocks me sometimes and I can say, oh, Walmart is selling, uh, Chain is selling, uh, many people are selling this, so how, what I have is special, what, 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 what kind of things I have that they are so special that I can sell this, look at this, look at this, that I can sell this um, so expensive and I can make it different, what I can do in order to make it different. 
And this is your job. Okay, I'm going to hit on save before I keep talking. Save, because now we have our assignment done. Congratulations. You got it, your first product. So you added a product. I'm going to customize my online shop just so for you to see, okay? And then your assignment is done. Look at this. View your store, my birth store. What is my product? Look at my product is there. So loud. It's saying so loud. This is something we have to fix. I don't know why it's, ah, because it's a, it's a trial. Okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter for the purpose of our business, for our assignment. Now, copy and paste, control C, and I copy my link. Okay, actually, I can add, I can add more stuff to this shop. Mm, customize. Let, uh, it's going to make me uh, pro, uh, buy a plan if I customize, I think. Let me see. If not, okay, image banner. I can add a image here. Hmm. Yes, the, the, the thing let me. The, you can put an image in your shop by yourself, so no excuses uh, to put your shop beautiful, okay? Why I need to put this beautiful, like you say, Vielka? Because this is for customer and presentation is fundamental. I cannot see, put this store in the in the market with this picture, which is uh, not you can see on the screen is not good for selling and it's not related actually with the store, but it's just an example. Okay, so here uh, I, I'm gonna click again in save. I'm gonna hit save. If you want to send me the link like I showed you before, you can. You are ready. I'm going to exit this screen and I can view my stuff, my shop. And you can send me this link in the top. Copy, paste, control C. And if you how to if you click on here, practice online store 13 and you send it to me, but you're gonna see something different. I don't see it actually. I can click on see as a student. Let me see. Uh, mm, it's, oh, I don't I don't see the option. There is an option that I can see as a student, so I can see the same that you see. Mm, here, view course as a student, beautiful. So look at this, what I did for you. I work hard for you people, you don't have idea. Okay, practice online store 13, include your link here. So what you're gonna do, I am a student now, I am like a student, I copy and paste my link and click compose. And now the teacher can see my store. Just to make it nice, make this store pretty because this is your future store online that you will have. And put it nice, do it nice. Because Professor, yes. you got 10. What? You got 10. ten. I got 10. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, no, really. The store is not as, as I wanted for you, but it's a start. It's just for purpose of practice. But thank you. It is, that was Alex. I am sure that was Alex. Um, but no, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I fell. I fell. I fell. Oh, sorry. I fell in the test, Rodrigo. Thank you so much. So, uh, but yes, people, look at this, Rodrigo, look at the store. What do you think? Tell me the truth. You give me 10, but tell me, tell me what do you think? Tell me, tell me something, help me. <laughs> no, what do you I think, think? Uh, your idea is excellent. So uh, now let's practice, you know. <laughs> let's practice, yes, because this is so uh, like primary. It's so basic, basic, basic. But it's a, thank you, Rodrigo. I, I appreciate you got 10, you got 100. So um, this is um, a start for us as 
e-commerce professional. It's not that everything will be like that. It needs a little bit of work, of course, but it's a start. So as you can see, the picture is not correct. And remember, the, the explanation will tell you uh, uh, the app Shopify will tell you select a plan. So if I select a plan, I click on that. You see, basic is one dollar. Shopify say one dollar advance, one dollar. Why? Oh, this is nice. Usually, don't say that. <laughs> Usually, it's uh, the the prices are five dollar, and then uh, it's twenty five uh, twenty nine, and the other is. 100 something whatever so i think this is kind of an offer or something they have because it's a new email i have because usually i don't see this um no but it's okay it's good for all of you that you see how it works so an uh, online store this is the store i just create and i can improve uh, if i click on customize i can keep working and have better a uh, design okay have better design um so mm -hmm. announcement bar at session so here i can add my session for example i can give some color add my logo select image you see I am doing everything from zero, so you can see. Let me see if I, if I find something. This is an example, okay? Open. Imagine that I have my logo saving my computer, and I click on done. Now I have my logo in the store. This is, again, an example because this is not a logo. It's just a QR code of my shop. But is to give you an idea okay so i put my logo uh, what else we can do people what else recommend me something um here announcement bar for example i can uh, welcome to our store so i can change my uh, i can change here this is very important to tell you because when you are writing you see i'm here in the top writing uh -uh, it's not there it's here you modify everything here you see it's not in the real way in the real place so welcome my birds this is an example and you don't have to do like this but it's so for you to know Alma did a beautiful work in her store that she sent me and it was so complete with all of that that i'm saying more 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 than this and uh, but uh, and she got all her point but for the purpose of the practice you can do it as soon as i see more creativity more effort more of your uh, work on this of course you're gonna get the best uh, uh, points if i don't see that you put too much effort that is something copy and paste and you put whatever of course we're gonna lose some points because i want to see some effort from you please so that you put at least your name that you add a picture of a product if you send me a store without no picture without any product you will you know and you see it's so easy to do so no no you don't have any reason to to make it uh, good you know so anyway but i am doing some modification here so you can see it's possible um what else people every time i do change i hit on the green button that you see on the top save and then you will be able to see your change okay comments question view your store you can see what we create of course it's not <laughs> the best but it's an example okay comments what else you have people i want to hear your opinion this is the assignment for today so you copy and paste your link or if you are not able to copy the link because whatever happens send me a picture of the shop and i can see that you made it and you put your product the product is basic if you don't put the product there is no way i can see you have experience in adding product to your shop uh, what kind of product you can use uh, as you can see all the products that you want because you can go a uh, paste picture from the internet uh, save a picture from the internet or take a picture like i did with all of you with the uh, you know the best way possible right with the resource i have how to create a real shop people 
is the same way. Like you don't need to discover the hot water. Everything is created. If you are committed to do it, if this is something that you think you can uh, improve the life of other people, uh, giving the best products possible or service, because you can sell service uh, with the e-commerce, of course, right? But if you are motivated to serve with uh, using the technology, this is the best tool you can use. If you don't make anything, it doesn't matter. You don't have to make anything to be, uh, you can combine products that you make and products uh, reselling. Or you can just resell like uh, looking Alibaba or other resources. Um, comments, people. I would like to know what do you think if this is something useful some of you have experience in e-commerce platform you created your job almas already create create her job and i know she's on the on this uh in his, in this personal project business project creating her job also i have more students here that have this goal and and they had experience in the past or they would like to keep working on this tell me your opinion um tell me tell me tell me what do you think and then this is a way you can see your products as soon as you keep adding products you will see more here and in your shop what else comments that you have my ones that made products i always recommend you uh, etsy is one of the best ways you can create your products you see etsy i have this uh, shop here and i just keep adding 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 every time but uh, what else? Comments that you have? Uh, question? Uh, can we use like other pay to, to like eBay or somewhere else to post? Yes, the option tell you, the, um, you know, the, uh, sorry, this is long, right? The application uh, asks you to do all of this. If you want to start your project like to sell, you can set up that. I didn't show you to set up um you you know the money let's say that the money but the the, the application will ask you where to go let me show you this let me show you this but for this exercise you don't have to set up this land you don't need this for this purpose at least you upload me product and you create your shop i'm happy okay but this is my other project that i told you 300 times is in uh, english and spanish and is uh, my the word list that we sell it needs a lot of work of course everything needs work but this is what i have for now <clears throat> and boom 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 you see it work this is the destroy here anyway but and it's as i tell you all the time start with what you have okay let's go with um lang uh, question uh, because she asked something very important which is a uh, set up uh, the pain point on sale so let's see let me show you where at least you can set up your uh, payments for your job okay mm, look at this where do you want to sell in person uh, this is for the ones that have the point of sale i use it but not in this one okay so here okay let me go back let me go back where i find this okay i went here at the end at the end uh, in the left side of your web page if you click on setting the end the end the end of the column you will see an option this is for especially for your land uh, this is payment payment so here you want to set up all your payment stuff okay because this is the one of actually she made the most important question because once you have your products to sell then the customer have to pay so how they can pay you have to set up your uh, payment if you don't set up the payment uh, the application uh, shopify will start to ask you set up your payment set up your payment it's gonna start to ask you until you are not done she don't wanna leave you alone if you don't set up the payment uh, actually i think i'm guessing that you can sell but 
you won't receive anything until you activate that. If you if you have another experience, tell me. But and then uh, the thing the assistant will ask you your address, and then will ask you your bank account, and then will ask you. Uh, you can set up your payment like Lang say with. Uh, she's, I think she say PayPal or Google Pay. This, the Google Pay, the system will do for you. And you can set PayPal. If you have a PayPal account, you can set up PayPal. If you have your account from the United States of America, you can put that. If it's not from United States, I think you can set up your store. I am, you have to you have to check, okay? That's, that's something you have to check. But th this is not for the assignment. I don't want that you deal with that for now because it's kind of a personal, right? But when you are ready to start with your project that I wish is today, you can put all of this information, bank account and all of that, and you will be able to receive your money in your account. When you receive your money, around five, seven days, sometimes earlier. I find out sometimes it takes a lot, like seven days, and sometimes you got it the next uh, two, two, two days, you are done. It depends. But you will get email. The thing will tell you, you have a sale, you will get your money. The thing, I never had a problem like that the money never come, that never happened to me. I don't think it happened because these people is not playing. They are professional. Shopify is a huge e-commerce platform. Also, Etsy, which is for makers, they you receive your money in a couple of days, you will have it. But you have to set up this address, location, all of that. But you see, it's not difficult. For the purpose of this assignment, you don't need this. But for your purpose of your professional stores, yes, you do it. And it's the same like we are doing. It's nothing, you just need a little bit of work because you need to dedicate time to everything like you do in your courses. Like you are here now, the same. We dedicate time. We take the best pictures that we can with the things that we have. If we have a cell phone, it doesn't matter if it's old, whatever, but take the pictures with the things you have as soon as you are committed people don't worry for having everything perfect i hear a lot of people telling me oh it's because i'm waiting to have a helper it's because i'm waiting for my husband to help me or i'm waiting for my wife because she has a model and she can model my no don't wait if you don't have a model put the if you have the clothes take a picture in your bed and put the clothes i have seen beautiful stores and they sell a lot pictures in the bed the clothes are in the bed boom 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 they take picture it's not no it's as soon as you want to do it don't worry the things will happen but this is the start this is how you start and you can start now today 5.42, and the class is almost over. So comments that you have, people, everybody knows how to send this assignment. Uh, Every... Professor. Yes, Pedro. Uh, can you Thank check you, mine? Can you, ch can you check mine? I just sent you my website. <laughs> okay, let me, let me do it now. Let me do it for you, Pedro. Okay, before, Pe uh, uh, before Pedro, yes. Before... Just make sure if it's working. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm gonna check. Uh, uh, um, before I keep going, um, everybody knows how to do this assignment. I'm gonna stop recording because we don't need to record anymore. And um, let me see. Let me make sure this is managed recording. Okay, stop recording. I'm gonna stop the recording because that's enough for today. Uh, well, now we can toll free. <laughs>